How you doing, mate? Good, mate. How are you? Yeah, well. That's good. All right, so 40 bucks for those two? Yep. All right, let's do it, mate. All right, guys, another flea market video to get stuck into. We actually missed last week due to some bad weather, so I'm actually really, really excited to be here today, and uh, there's a lot of vendors too because it's a nice, bright, sunny day, and that's when everybody comes out. We're trying to find stuff to flip for a profit onto eBay today. I'm going to show you what sort of things that I like to pick up to flip for a few dollars. Hopefully enjoy it. Let's jump into the first one. How you doing, mate? Good day, buddy. What are you thinking today? Uh, it's always DVDs. Oh, always? Oh, mate, the, some guy's just cleared out a hundred. Has he? Oh, yeah. Just took a load. Oh, no. All the, so, uh, all the, boxes. Yeah. All the box sets? Yeah. Oh, no. That's what I look for. <laughs> well, don't, you know, don't give up. He might have missed something, though, right? Yeah. Mm, not the best, <laughs> not the best show for me. Uh, what's your go? Uh, Black Christmas. Never heard of that. Something for, uh, for Christmas. For Christmas? Yes. Yeah, you're right. He's literally got all the seasons. No, he, he, he yeah, he, uh... Clever. He just took every, everything. What are you doing it for? The CDs? 50 cents. Yeah. 50 cents. Oh, wow. That's a good price. Yeah. How you doing, mate? Good, mate. How are you? Yeah, well. That's good. Cool lot of collectibles, mate. Yeah, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Yeah, usually is. <laughs> usually is. Yeah. That's great. Mm. Yeah, it's a bit of an old assortment, isn't it? Yeah, it is, but that's what you want to see down here. Yeah, exactly. That's great. I'm just trying to think, um, this HR, is this, do you know if that's a region four at all? Um, well, I, I can play it on my system, yeah. which, um, couldn't see and any. then I might have, I think I've got an all region. An all player. region player. Yeah. Which is an El Cheapo. Yeah. Yeah, would you do? I do it for 20. 20? <laughs> yeah. 20 bucks. I'm interested in the Adams family as well. Well, I'll do that for 20. I and mean, then that, that's one disc has been played on that. I bought that brand new. Oh, it's basically brand new. Yeah. I thought you were going to say one disc missing. <laughs> no, not at all. So, yeah, you're more or less getting a new. Um, yeah, okay. Set there. And right. that's, that's sport from here, so that's the okay. Australian. Yeah, that one's a region four as yeah. well. All right, so 40 bucks for those two? Yep. All right, let's do it, mate. Now, don't mind me just hiding in here between some skip bins. I'm actually just trying to avoid the wind. The wind's blowing in, so I look a little strange to all these people staring at me. But um, I wanted to jump in here to have a quick chat about the two DVDs that we just, just picked up, HR Puff and Stuff and The Adams Family. Now, I paid 20 bucks a piece which sounds like a fair bit of money for something like a flea market DVD. But I can tell you right now, they were absolutely worth the purchase. And it's what I've started to do a whole lot more of now. I'm focusing on those great items that sell for really good money, and I'm happy to pay out for them as well. So HR Puff and Stuff sells in America. It's a region one copy DVD, which is fine to purchase uh, because people do have multi-region players out there as well. So 80 to $100 worth of value is what I was seeing, and a $20 purchase price, you're gonna do that every single time. The Adams Family, that goes on to sell for $70. I've actually sold both the Adams Family and HR Puffer stuff in the past as well, and I've sold them for those values that I just spoke of. So $150 worth of DVDs, guys, and I've had to fork out $40 based on his offering of $25 a piece. I was able to get it from $50 down to $40, but it's still a lot of money. But the whole purpose of this is to try and find great items that'll sell quick, and those two are really good examples of that with very good profit. So hopefully there's a little bit of a lesson in there for you guys. If you're beginning, you're probably wanting to buy them for one or $2, but over time you start to get a bit more confidence in previous sales, previous experience, and that's something you wanna be finding. Big, complete season DVD sets. Oh my god. 
Yeah, lucky me. How you doing, mate? Good, mate. How are you? Fantastic. Awesome. You don't see PlayStation 1 down here too often. No. Jeez, this looks rare. $80. Yes, it's a good one too. It's a little next one, I think. Digital card battle. Yeah. We sold another Digimon this morning. Yeah? Yeah. Someone came and bought it. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Very cool, man. Yeah. Super Mario Galaxy. It was all, I had, a, I had a bunch of Sega too, and this guy just came in boom, boom. Oh, mate, Sega's going to go in a heartbeat. Yeah. Do you have the console as well? Nah, I got rid of all my Sega stuff, to be honest. Oh, really? Uh, throughout the um, last couple of years. Yeah. It's all from my personal collection, so. What have you got at home that you need to get rid of? Um, I still got to get, get rid of some stuff. I got uh, some uh, Nintendo stuff, 64, yeah. Super Nintendo, and I got a lot of uh, Game Boy. Are you looking to sell it? Yeah, yeah. I'm just going through the stuff that I want to sell and 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 and, and then um and the stuff that I want to keep. It takes me a while to go through it, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm trying to condense it down because I don't use it much anymore. Yeah, yeah. You know, when I mainly only when I get to play anything, I'll just play the new stuff, like yeah. the PS5 or the you know, yeah. Xbox. You know? So you got the old stuff that you want to get rid yeah. of. Yeah, there's some that I want to keep, but there's some that I want to get. Yeah, yeah. Really yeah. Well, the yeah. Nintendo and the Game Boy definitely interests me because you don't really come across it too much, and I'm always looking for it. So yeah, yeah. I don't know if there's an opportunity to. Well, there you go. Oh, sorry. Thanks, Matt. Two dollars. Two dollars a night. Sure, no worries. I'll give you some change. I think um, I think one of the most underrated things that you can do down here is just ask further questions with the vendors. Um, so that guy there, he already had a bunch of video games, so it was already in a category that I wanted to be sourcing off. And I asked him if he had anything else lying around the house and. He's Brisbane based, but I've got his number now. And so I'm ultimately just gonna wait, wait to see if he gets back in touch with me. But it's those sorts of opportunities that might eventuate over the over the weeks to come. Um, that'll have come just through simply asking the question. And uh, we might be able to get a really good sale eventuate from it. So it's definitely something you guys should focus on when you're down in places like flea markets. What actually is it? It's a Lego Batman Poison Ivy. Poison ivy. Yeah. And you bought it for how much? Two bucks. Two dollars. Yeah. And you're saying this thing sells for about eighty dollars. Seventy to eighty. Yeah. Holy. Yeah. That's elite, man. You got yeah. a few others in there as well, or? Yeah, I got a few others. Not too. Um, these. I got like, a few others. They're really cheap. These are only three dollars each. Um, it's like. Oh, nice. And he's like worth a bit. Uh, you so you, you know all this, eh? Yeah, yeah. Like um, some of these, you know, like twenty dollars. Like this one, this is an Inquisitor. Yep. These are all stars. I've heard about the Inquisitors. Yeah, the Inquisitor, yeah. And it even has like a lightsaber stuff thing too. Yeah, which is always yeah. tough to tough to make sure you so, got. Then there's some vintage tech decks. Oh, you don't see tech decks around too often, do you? Nah, not the vintage ones. They're just cool. You can tell old the logos are. Absolutely. <laughs> I remember the tech deck. That's the logo that I remembered yeah, when yeah. I was a kid. Oh, that's incredible, mate. Well, you've had a good little morning so far. Yeah. You're still running around having a look? Yeah, I, I stay, I got, I got an opening, I stay till like the end. Yeah, same. I eat breakfast. You know, so do I. Drink. Oh, mate, one week we should grab break here at one point. Have yeah. a bit of a chat about everything. If you've got yes. any questions or whatever. Oh, thanks. Shoot it through, my man. See you later. Yeah, bro, absolutely. Oh, well, I should know anyway. These ones are all for us. So. Gotcha. Yeah, these ones I don't if think are priced. Like, they've got initials on the side. Yeah, who's this doing? Ah, I see. <laughs> it's all good. Just... Oh, you still got that thing on there, yeah? Hey, no, okay. no. Not at the moment. No. Like 
All right, so we've had to pay up there for that uh, video game purchase. So I've ended up getting 13 games and I've spent $120. So working out to be just a little less than $10 a video game. Now I've just added up all of the comps and uh, it works out to be worth about $350 worth of revenue. And I put it into the e-profit calculator. I put all of the postage costs, which work out to be about $65 in postage fees. Um, and the e-profit calculator tells me I'm gonna double my money. So $120 spent for $120 worth of profit. And uh, I, I do know this vendor really well. She didn't want me to film, so I, I probably got limited footage in there. Um, but yeah, 120 bucks, 13 games, 120 profit. This time of year, beautiful. Just got those shoes just there. Eight dollars. I'll just take it to you. Yeah, no worries. Much appreciated. It's the pins. Oh, the pins. You need the pins. That's that's fair. Amazing. Thank you very much. Thank you too. Looking for more river monsters. So it turns out River Monsters is actually a massive DVD to be finding, guys. Um, season six, there was one copy that had sold for about 70 odd dollars on eBay. Now, I don't anticipate that I'm gonna get 70 bucks. I reckon I'm gonna get about 40 to 50 dollars, but for just a single copy DVD, it's, it's unbelievable money considering I only paid the three dollars. Now, if you find all seasons one to nine, it goes on to sell for 600 dollars. So River Monsters on DVD, have a look out for that one because there's some big, big money in it. Um, I'll give it a risk for 10 bucks. Why not? I'll go and track down some cables and give it a run. Go on. See how we go. Nah, no shoes. No shoes for you? Just the PS2. Thanks, mate. Ah, beauty. Thanks, Unreal, mate. appreciate it. Thank you, mate. Unreal. See you later. All right, so I just thought we'd go ahead with that. PlayStation 2 console, I'm just gonna be honest about it. I'm just gonna list it up as untested, no cables, console only. Um, no game in it, for those that were curious. I'm sure there were gonna be some comments if I didn't do that. Uh, so no game, but uh, 10 bucks, I'm gonna, I'm gonna list it for $40 for parts only. Uh, I think you can sell them for about 60 or $70 if they're working. So maybe 40 bucks there on that, which is cool. Uh, the Jordans is, Jordans, why did I say Jordans? Nikes, Nike LeBron 17s. Uh, I'm only gonna list these up for 60, even though I put a comp up for $100, just because the size is a whole lot smaller. It's a size five youth. Um, shoe size is really important for the price that you're gonna sell it for. Um, so being a smaller size, gonna go with the $60, but they were in excellent condition. They were only $8. I don't think the lady realized that these were Nike shoes. Uh, at the time, I think she had a new balance up for $25 and then I was like, oh geez, before she clues on, I'm gonna quickly buy these off her for eight bucks uh, and get the hell out of there. Um, so that was great. Awesome to find LeBron's uh, at the flea in excellent condition. Uh, this hat, I said it in the uh, in the little caption of the video, but uh, two into 30. I just like the Bart Simpson front print on that one there. If you're interested, I'll do it for a whole lot cheaper. So uh, shoot me a note on Instagram and you can get your hands on that. Um, now, DVDs, real winners of the day. I only bought three, but geez, they're a good three. We're talking almost $200 worth of value in just three DVDs. So, you know, I wasn't buying willy-nilly down there. I was picking the right DVDs. And, uh, you know, I'm probably going to go 40 and then probably going to go 80, 70, 150, 190. There you go. 190 bucks, and I paid $43. So that was a good buy. And then these... Um, I mean, it's not the best buy out of everything that I bought today, these video games. Double my money though. Pretty good result there for 13 games, uh, doubling your money off 120 spend for 120 profit. Uh, let me know in the comments if you would have done that yourself. I'd be curious to know if you're sort of looking to hopefully try and double your money uh, when you're making your investments. I know I certainly am. Um, so 19 listings, which is a little bit over a typical day's worth of listings that we like to do. Uh, but there's about $600 worth of value in this collection that we can whack onto eBay. And we paid $190 to get our hands on it. So I'm paying an average of $10 per item here and I'm selling it for you know, 600 bucks. So you're looking at about an average sale price of $30 
and you're buying it for 10. So 10 into 30, you're gonna make about $10 profit. We're gonna make about $200 in true clean profit after fees and postage. Very roughly speaking, it actually might be more about $250 in profit. So for what is just a single day's worth of listings, um, you know, 19 listings, we could probably get them all up in one day even. Um, $600 into the store for $200 in profit, 250 in profit. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that because we're only at the flea market for a couple of hours and we've strategically bought items one that I always sell on my eBay store, shoes, hats, video games, and DVDs. Um, right time of year to be buying those sorts of things as well, coming into Christmas. I think they're all items that could sell for Christmas time. Um, so I think the sell through rate is gonna be really quick, um, which is equally as big of a consideration for me nowadays. Happy to pay an average of $10 if it's gonna turn around quick for 30 uh, versus a slower sell through rate, 10 into 30 wouldn't have been so good, but they should sell fast. Hopefully you got some value out of it, guys. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and list these up right now and uh, have a couple left over for Courtney to list up tomorrow, Monday, what sold. I've been I've been keeping, keeping tabs actually on the eBay page and we've got a few sales to ship off tomorrow. So I'm gonna film another full day of video tomorrow for you. Uh, but if you do enjoy this sort of flea market style of content, uh, I'm gonna leave a video for you right here, which was another day at the flea market where I, I bought a little bit more than what I bought today, um, which also goes on to sell some great money. And a lot of it has actually, actually already gone on to sell. So go and check that one out. Appreciate you being here, guys. We'll see you soon.